So the first question, Arindam, from the student side is, what unique educational opportunities or programs does the University of Washington Tacoma offer that set it apart uh, from other institutions? So how do these programs prepare students for future career success? I will focus on the uh, program related to accounting in the Milgaud School of Business. So we have uh, what I specifically had, which is the MS Accounting, which is a STEM designated program. Uh, well, the opportunities for students in the program is enormous. Accounting, as you know, as an industry today is in huge demand in the US and in the world uh, all over. Now, the MS Accounting program, uh, the STEM designated program that we have provides a lot of opportunities for the students. Our program is, the curriculum is designed specifically uh, to cater to the needs of the current requirements of the employers and the economy. Uh, it's highly targeted with the uh, analytical point of view, critical thinking point of view, highly based on the softwares, different softwares, including SAP. And what happens with the training like that is students are prepared for the cutting edge technology as well as the in-depth knowledge in accounting, uh, which puts them in a good position for the marketplace. Now, students from all over the world uh, come to our program, and I'm very proud to say that uh, the employment market uh, is always demanding more and more of our students uh, with the training they receive. That's an amazing answer. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor Arindam. Uh, and this makes me ask a follow-up question on the same thing, where you spoke about the different technology and analytical skills. Uh, one question which comes up uh, a lot from the student's perspective is the uh, curriculum practical training and optional practical training. So what is this all about? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. Uh, and of course, that's something which specifically the international students are very interested. And it's kind of geared more towards international students who come to the US to do their program, uh, to pursue accounting or any other programs. Now, in our program, uh, we have uh, one of the courses which is called internship. So every student has to go through a minimum of 150 hours of okay. internship with the employers out there. And for that, uh, they require what is called as a CPT, which is a, okay. uh, what you mentioned. That. What happens with that is once they get an offer for internship, uh, they can take a CPT by which they can work full time and also get paid for it. Now they can continue to do a CPT throughout the uh, throughout the time uh, they're pursuing the um, masters the masters degree or masters program, and after they complete it on graduation, uh, what what they get is an OPT, which allows them to work in the U.S. for a certain period of time. Now since we are a STEM designated program, they get 24 additional months to work in the U.S., uh, which makes it around 36 months after they graduate, uh, which they get to work in the US and get paid for it. So which gives them a lot of opportunity to work in a very global uh, space to get that US experience and use that uh, as maybe uh, for the career growth and enhancement. That's an amazing uh, answer again, because CPT and OPT is much widely asked. And I would say in the Indian context, it's more like pre-placement and post-placement kind of stuff. Kind of, yes. Yep. So Anindam, the next question which comes up is, can you speak uh, uh, the career services and the resources available to the students at the University of Washington, Tacoma? So how does the university support student in their career ex uh, exploration and job placement? Yeah, that's actually, I'm always very excited to speak about that. I, I mean, uh, my passion uh, as an academician, as a program leader has always been about placing students uh, getting them uh, the ability to work because that's when there's a completion of the cycle. Uh, sure. You learn what you learn in the program, but to put that in practice is what it really means uh, to complete the cycle. Um, and I really like my students to enjoy uh, that learnings beyond the classroom at the workplace. So, and I actually envy our students because I wish I had the services and the support which we offer during the time I was in college. Uh, but having said that, I want to talk about a few of those things. Um, first of all, we have a success center, which is dedicated to the success of the students in the Milgaard School. They work with students 
on many aspects, including and not limited to uh, CV enhancement, okay. working on the CV, interviewing skills, communication skills, presenting themselves, and just going and talking to someone, uh, you know, at a networking event. Uh, then we also have a lot of uh, events throughout the year. For example, just in the past month in October, we had a event called Accounting Fest. Fest, okay. And that was an event which lasted throughout the month. Many events combined which made up the Accounting Fest where the, the target was to have the students get the opportunity to connect uh, to the employers and get uh, networking opportunities with the community leaders as well as try to get uh, the connections and the reach out to the employers to get jobs. So one of the events, for example, was called uh, Meet the Professionals. And in that, we had around 35 plus companies which came there. Awesome. A uh, lot of jobs there. And uh, we had over 120 students who participated. Many of them actually have already got full-time offers from there. Amazing. Uh, in, within two, three weeks. Beyond that, we also have mentorship programs. We have other networking events, uh, which keep on going throughout the year, uh, which provide a great platform for students to, even if they don't know anyone as they land, especially the international students, as they come land in the country and go to a place, Tacoma, which probably they have never been to. Uh, but how do they get a job? Well, you start with knowing people. True. So we offer all that opportunity and we are with them in this journey. Uh, we take pride in this. Uh, we take absolute uh, you know, excitement in every step they take towards this uh, journey of uh, accomplishment. Amazing, uh, Professor. And that's why we are proud to be tied up with uh, Milgard School of Business as well. So my next question is, can you share any success stories or examples of alumni who have achieved significant career milestones after graduating from uh, UWT? How does the university continue to support its alumni network? So we have had examples of uh, people who have come from uh, the country, from India. Uh, they have gone on to... Uh, become now the head of internal audit uh, in banks. Oh, awesome. Uh, we have had uh, people who have uh, become partners in accounting firms. Uh, there are people who have doubled their salary in six months. <laughs> and uh, those are also milestones according to me. Uh, True. I think the, the bigger part of all that uh, milestones that we talk about is when, we, when I see them each year, the number of my own students who have graduated and come back to meet the professionals uh, representing their firms and hiring our students. Oh. That's a bigger cycle. Mm. That's a cycle which I love to see, where you have gone there, gotten the job, learned on the job, move forward, and now you're advocating for us and getting that opportunity to your juniors uh, who are looking up to you. Uh, and then there are people who have become advisory board members oh. of my own program. Uh, there are students who have, uh, who have within a couple of years or so come back and spent hours with us uh, just helping students, becoming mentors uh, and, you know, uh, helping them in different uh, uh, occasions, advising them. Uh, that's the cycle I like to see because it's not just about you, yourself, it's about you, yourself, and them. <coughs> how you're helping the next generation, the next cycle of students who, again, have a lot to offer. So there are milestones after milestones. The stories can continue in all different ways. And, and as I'm speaking, I'm getting emotional too with the, the, the thing that I really look forward to. It's just amazing stories always. So the next question which comes up is, how does a university collaborate with local industries and employers to ensure that the curriculum is aligned with the needs of the job market. Are there any specific partnerships or initiatives in place to facilitate this collaboration? As a program, as a school, we always try to see that we are offering the best courses, the cutting edge courses, which is what is required by the, uh, by the community, by the employment community in, in short. So there are many ways we do that. One is we have our advisory board members who are for which we have multiple. We have one for the school, one for the program and so on and so forth. 
and we are constantly in touch with them about mm. what do they see is happening so that so kind of makes them updated yes yeah. and you know in terms of collaborations for example we are uh, strategic alliances partners with sap oh. so we incorporate sap in all our curriculum so we have two classes which are specifically focused on analytics we also have sap in certain undergraduate class uh, classes so we and not only that there are other collaborations in terms of uh, companies such as deloitte and other companies where professionals from there come to the classrooms talk about certain uh, topics for example uh, you know an accounting firm has their partner come in and talk about uh, uh, indirect taxes and salt uh, for a couple of classes we have a professional from microsoft who comes and talks about uh, transfer pricing uh, mm. so we have these collaboration on an ongoing basis uh, currently we are developing in fact i'm involved in that developing a study abroad course on esg to take our students to london and in that we are collaborating with uh, individuals and groups in london as well as uh, accounting firms in terms of delivering some of the latest things that are happening around us uh, so you know you're always in a constant state of evolution and that is the only constant we have which is evolving into a better self of ourselves this is amazing actually because we see sustainability is the future of accounting so i did cover that in my previous podcast also guys and today we are having that in the us university it's it's the top skill which is currently uh, required to excel in the accounting career now because as we move more towards the climatic reporting so esg would play a substantial role and i'm glad arindam that we are also kind of introducing these uh, initiatives as well so now the most interesting phase of our uh, podcast right which is a most important question which students ask a lot what are the top advices you would give to the students before they apply for milgard school of business uh, they should decide to apply for the milgard school of business the ms in accounting program um, but i think uh, besides that uh, important thing and i think this is what i keep telling every applicant apply early it's very important to apply early and also along with that to have all your documentation in line hmm. complete all the documents you need and also important in your resume is put the dates when did you graduate mm. when did you do and your work experience put on the dates explain it a little bit so we understand what exactly were you working on because that gives you an edge that that talks about you that tells us your story and we want to know that mm. right and most important beyond that is if you have anything like a gmat to be taken or english proficiency deal with it as early as possible because unless all the documents are done along with the test scores of english proficiency and all uh, we cannot really process your uh, your application and you do want us to be processing your application as early as possible so that you can go on and get your appointments for visa and other stuff and these days i understand that takes a little time a little longer than usual uh, and also if you're looking for things like a spring admission you got to factor in that December is a month of holidays hmm. uh, for the US embassy so you may not have as many days open for uh, appointments right i mean broadly these are the things uh, but again i'll go back to tell that apply early uh, that's the most important so i think this is very important guys because if you apply early you have enough time to kind of apply for your visa and all other deadlines which are there even for your scholarship deadlines as well this is quite important that you apply early and decide and now the most important question again is how was your experience with simandar education well uh, we have been partners for a good 6 uh, months i think we signed our mou just about uh, around june yeah. july during june. the summer uh and um and then we had a short period of time within which uh we had a deadline for the autumn admissions and i think samandar uh, did have a few applications we had from there and um unfortunately some of them got delayed in in coming for autumn because of visa issues again okay. what i was talking about it you know apply early uh but for the spring i must admit uh we do have the applications early we do have the applications completed and uh, we do have lesser queries going back to the applicants in fact uh, we are processing them as we speak and uh, obviously uh, it's been a learning uh, process but it's been a very positive process so thank you
thank you so much professor and uh, i am i also wanted to give a feedback because the students who have gone to the university of uh, washington tacoma many of them are uh, i think uh, almost 90% of them have got jobs in the very second week itself and then they really enjoying the program because it's full of analytics most important what i got from the students is the sap i think that is one program which they really like the most so that skill sets is also there and again thank you so much for coming professor it's, it has been an absolute privilege to host you here in our podcast and i also appeal to all the students to please ensure that you apply early and take this decision conscious decision of upskilling yourself and go for the masters in the us i think this is one place where you need to kind of explore and get that global exposure because see today what career is right so career is a multiplication of skills qualification and exposure qualification samandar is giving you which is cpa right skill set you will automatically learn in your job exposure which is very important so one is a local exposure and one is an international exposure so today we have the international exposure through masters of accounting in the us so please don't wait and kind of kind of apply faster so that you also ensure that you have sufficient amount of experience before you jump into masters because if you're a fresher and you're immediately applying for it it kind of becomes little uh, i would say uh, kind of setback because most of the universities in the us prefer that you have good amount of work experience so my recommendation is to work in india for a couple of years or so and then kind of apply for these universities as well thank you so much for watching and thank you professor for coming thank you so much it's thank been you. my pleasure